Well, I followed all the instructions on how to make the um, SD card for the Red Pattaya, which I purchased yesterday. And as you can see, all the standard uh, apps are working. So before you do anything else, make sure that uh, you have the basic um, Red Pattaya operating system up and running and that you can access it. Once you've done that, you would imagine that all you have to do then is go to the site to download the image for the uh, <coughs> Whisper receiver, put that onto a second SD card and you'll be away. It's slightly more complex than that if you are not a Linux user, but hopefully I can solve that quite quickly. So with the second SD card in the machine, use the same program that uh, used to create the uh, Repa tire. Operating system. I've left it on the desktop, so there we are. Repetire, whisper, blah, blah blah. And I'll write that to the card, just let it to uh, in exactly the same way as we created the SD card with the Repetire um, operating system on. Leave that to finish. As you can see, in order to enable uh, that card to work, you have to be able to edit. Uh, a couple of files and enter your call and your grid, that's your maiden head locator, your call sign is your call sign. So you need to be able to get to decode-whisper-dot-sh um, so that you can enter that information and enable uploading to WhisperNet. Uh, there's also frequency correction and the bands list in order to select the bands you want to listen on. You have to be able to, to get to write-c2-files.sh CFG. So you would expect as a Windows user that you could just look in the SD card, find those files and edit them. Unfortunately it proved to be slightly more complicated than that and if you're a Linux user I'm sure you're laughing at this point. So that SD card is now inside the red Pattaya but, and uh, there are lights flashing, uh, LAN connections made, but it won't be uploading any sparks. You can see the antenna comes in here power supply there, connection to the router by a cat is there. So even though it's receiving it won't be uploading anything to uh, the website so I need to be able to edit that card, the SD card in there over the network using uh, WinS HP which I'll do in a moment. Well, the card was successfully made but when I look inside it in uh, Windows Explorer uh, all I find is boot, device tree, UENV and U image. That's the card structure and uh, I thought it was incorrect the first time so I tried it several times and each time I saw that. So eventually I contacted Pavel and he suggested or explained that uh, the Linux um, sector that I need to access is hidden from Windows so therefore I needed a way to access that and uh, he suggested a program which I'll now demonstrate hopefully. So the program which worked best for me is WinSCP and I'll include the links for all of these things um, later on. So I'll install WinSCP on the, this laptop and then show you how to access the Linux file, uh, Linux partition for editing so that we can quickly have the thing On up and running. I chose Explorer for that. For that. Okay, when SCP up and running, I enter the host name, which is the IP address. The username is root, and the password is change me. You can also save this if you, um, so that you don't have to do this every time. Also got a warning this time for some reason or other about update keys, which I've decided to ignore. So when I log in, you should see that. So. I'm going to, at the moment, skip that and worry about that another day. So, hopefully, there you are. I'm now into the Red Pattaya um, root folder. These are the files I need to be able to enter my call sign and my, it's called grid, but it's your maidenhead locator, which I believe are in this file here. Uh, right, C2 files, CFG. Sorry, no, that's the bands. So the, the bands which are selected at the moment are 
80 meters to 15 meters. Uh, so if I just leave that as it is for now, I can change those later. You just comment and uncomment using the two hash uh, symbols. You either delete to delete them or add them to select bands. You can have up to eight. So at the moment there are eight bands selected in the right C2 files config. I'll leave those exactly as they are for now. Decode whisper. There we go. So I put my call sign in there with no space and I put my maiden head locator in there with no space and then save it. I'll just do that um, and save it to, to the card. One small point, I noticed that there is a comma missing at the end of the uh, 24 megahertz band. Without that comma, uh, yeah, when you, if you change your bands and you select that band, uh, it stops uploading. So make sure that comma is there. You select or deselect bands by using two hashes. So I put two hashes there. That comments out uh, 40 meters. If I take them away, and 40 meters is selected. So at the moment I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bands selected. Save that, and hopefully it will have started to receive on those bands already. You can see the uh, rope tire happily receiving on uh, bands from 40 meters through 6 meters and uploading hopefully information as required. Good luck.